I'm Denise Van Outen and welcome to Massalan Presents The Show, your brand new go-to destination for bite-sized fashion and style advice for all your family. We'll be bringing you the very latest trends, fashion essentials and inspirational ideas for your home, along with lively chat with industry insiders. And my friends joining me today are Woman Magazine's fashion director, Paula Moore. Hello. And a woman who's made a name for herself in the online world of fashion and lifestyle blogging, Catherine Shellman. Hi. Welcome to the show. Right, on with the show. <laughs> and now we may be sad that summer's coming to an end, boo, <laughs> but there is plenty to get excited about as the fashion calendar moves forward to autumn. But September, as we know, it's a very tricky month. Mm -hmm. The weather's so changeable. What do we wear? Well, I think it's all about layering. You want something you can throw on easily or take off as well. But yeah, it's all about layering in the in-between seasons. Yeah, we're in a bit of a limbo period, aren't we? Because some people are still planning on going on holiday, yeah. thinking about their summer wardrobe. But then equally, we've got lots of autumn clothing coming into the stores, so it's tricky. We've got top tips here. <laughs> now, what I love about the start of the autumn season is the wealth of new ideas to freshen up your wardrobe. So I'm going to put you guys completely on the spot and ask you, what is your one must-have autumn essential oh fashion item? Just one. I think it's got to be the gilet. But no ordinary gilet. I think it's got to be the shearling gilet. Oh, so a little nod to the 70s there. Yeah, definitely. Right, so how should you wear this? Well, what you can do, it can be worn so many different ways. I mean, you can still wear it in the summer months when it's a bit warmer over, like, your cold shoulder tops and dresses. But equally, when the weather gets cooler, just throw it over like a, a biker jacket. And it looks really soft from yeah, here, Yeah, it is. It? It's super soft and it's so versatile. It's such an instant wardrobe update. It looks really cosy. I like the idea of throwing it over a biker jacket. Now, for me, my autumn essential has to be... It's quite a classic item I've gone for, is the pea coat because I like the military design of it. I think mm. it looks very classy. Mm. I love it in navy, yeah. which, like this one here, with the gold buttons, I think you can dress it up, dress it down. See, I'd even mm. wear that on the school run. But yeah. equally, going out for dinner with friends in the evening, I'd throw it on. Yeah, definitely. It's a really flattering style as well. You could wear it with, you know, different length skirts and trousers yeah, as well. Definitely. Okay, now, Catherine, what's your essential? Well, let's not forget about footwear, mm. and more importantly, adaptable footwear, especially given the weather, it's a bit changeable still. So we've got this fantastic Western-style boot, which I think would go with all sorts of different things. Yeah. You know, you could wear it with bare legs in summer, um, going into autumn, and then obviously in winter, when it starts to get a bit colder, team it with your jeans and trousers. And it's got this really great filigree Western-style yeah, buckle. It's quite designer-looking as well. It is, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Now, the Western-style definitely isn't going away. It's sticking around, so see through to the next season as well. <laughs> right, I've got to admit, it's been really difficult for me to pick one essential piece for autumn. So I've been completely greedy mm. and I've decided I'm going to choose 10 essential items for women. And you can discover what they are right here at matterland.co.uk. Right, let's not forget about the little ones. I've got a six-year-old daughter, mm. Betsy. What are the kids wearing? Oh, yeah, the kids wear like what the adults do nowadays. So they're just as trendy. I mean, take this little boy on the left there. He's wearing a really cute denim shirt, but the fabric is jersey. So it's a lot more comfortable for the kids. Great, I like this. See, my mm. daughter... Betsy's is quite fussy about certain materials, mm. so the soft jersey denim yeah. is perfect for her. Now, I've chosen this dress here, this mm. patchwork dress, which has got drop waist, and it has got that 70s feel to it. Yeah. I love it. I think she could wear that, you know, with tights and, and still with a bare leg, couldn't she? Yeah, exactly. And, and with the gilet. And with the gilet, yeah, of course. You can double the gilet, yeah. so you can have mother and daughter <laughs> matching combo. I like it. Yeah. I really like this uh, burgundy pinafore. It's actually a skirt. Uh, uh, what's a skirt? <laughs> <laughs> well, as the name suggests, it's a combination between a skirt and shorts. So it's actually really oh. practical and warm as we're going into autumn. My girls have got two little girls, four and six, and they would love this. And, you know, it's lovely corduroy, so it'd be great for moving into colder months. Love it. Very practical. Now, it's not just key pieces to look out for this season. There's also the emergence of new trends. And one that's really caught my eye is the re-emergence of denim in a big way. Now, we've just mentioned denim there. Yeah, it is back, I mean, isn't it? it was all over the catwalks. And, yeah, denim is really directional, like, really on trend again. But it's not just jeans. It can be coats, dresses, skirts, anything, really. Now, you mentioned dresses. Yeah. There's always a denim dress oh, in my yeah, wardrobe. And this is my favourite for this season. I absolutely love this belted dress. I love, the, I love the length of it, the mm. style of it, and I actually like the colour denim as well because yeah. it's dark, isn't it? It's darker yeah. than a lot mm. of other denims, which is great, I think, for autumn, winter. And it can be worn lots of different ways. You can, because it's length, you can wear it like with leggings and jeggings and stuff, or throw a gilet over the top. <laughs> no, there's that gilet, gilet then, <laughs> creeping in. She's obsessed with gilets. But what about a denim jacket? Because I've always said no to denim jackets for years, but they're back, aren't they? They are back, but this time round, they've just got a bit more detail going on. So it's not just a plain denim jacket, it's got a lot more detailing. 
So what is the detail? Oh, that's a nice one yep. there. So as one I've made earlier, this one, you will love it because it's got a detachable collar. Oh. So it's really like versatile. So it's like two jackets in one. And also the bleached denim. So it's got a bit of an 80s feel about it. But I think it's a jacket you can wear it like day or night, really. So you can wear it many different ways. So yeah. a good investment there. Yeah. Um, but now there's a lot of denim staring at me right here. <laughs> Sorry. Which can scare me a little bit. Now, you look fantastic. Thank you. But I've got to be really honest, hand on my heart, I'd be too nervous to wear double denim. Yeah, I know. It can be a tricky one, but I think it's time to kind of be brave, be confident, give the trend a go. I mean, start off, the key item is starting off with a great mm. pair of jeans. Yeah, it's definitely. easy to get stuck in a bit of a rut with jeans, isn't it? And just so what is this cut? Well, this is a boyfriend cut. This is the Riley boyfriend cut. It's really relaxed, comfortable mm. fit. It's got a bit of stretch in it. And, you know, it's easy to kind of team with a softer denim shirt mm. with a bit of pretty detailing. And then if you really want to go for <laughs> the <laughs> triple <laughs> denim, you know, We're doing a triple D. Oh, yeah. I don't think I could take it. I do it with a denim jacket on top as well. It actually looks really lovely. And I would wear this, definitely. Yeah. So now I've got this um, image that I want to show you that I call, I'm calling it catwalk denim. Because mm. to me, it's a little bit slightly dressier that you could wear on an evening out. What do you think of this? Because I think oh. this is fabulous. Yeah, I love mm. it. And it's got a few trends going on as well. The kick flare jean, putty bow. Um, top detailing as well. So, yeah, it's really cool. And what are the denim rules? Denim rules. My two ones are tonal denim. If you're going to do double denim, make sure the colours are the same, so blues and blues but and blacks and black. <laughs> but if you've got any problem areas, make sure you wear darker denim on the area. So if you're pear-shaped, wear dark jeans with a lighter shirt. Perfect. Denim do's and denim <laughs> don'ts. Thank you so much, ladies, for joining me. Now, that brings us to the end for today, but join me next time on the show when we're talking London Fashion Week and how to make the latest trends work just for you. Bye for now. Climb the